Welcome to Weatherby. And look, the all new Smart One. It's a rather funky looking solar, isn't it? And just wait till you see inside. I'm Ben Quirk, welcome to Planet Auto. The all new Smart. So, a fully electric car. And it offers a range of between 260 and 273 miles. And to be honest, it's really funky. It offers something completely different to the EV buyer. I mean, for a start, just look at the cockpit. It's rather cute. Built with Smart's unique e-mobility platform architecture, the number one is their new all-electric compact SUV, fitted with a 66 kilowatt battery, providing 200 kilowatts and 272 PS, and delivers 343 newton meters of torque, with a max speed of 112 miles an hour. Now, it may not be the quickest at its top end, but it will get you from 0 to 62 in 6.7 seconds. Choose from the Pro Plus from £35,950, the Premium from 38950 and the Launch Edition, limited to just £1,000, from £39,450. Now, if you're looking for more power, why not choose the Brabus? From 43450 it's got a second electric motor powering the front wheels making it all-wheel drive and increasing the PS up to 428 and will get you from 0 to 62 in just under 4 seconds. Wow, now that's fast. The Brabus also adds red accents among other things. When it comes to safety, all trims are fitted with Smart's ADAS package. It also comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB Radio and some cool convenience features like a power tailgate which is great to see on this segment. It's a clean modern design. Now I don't want to give too much away because our aim is, in the new year, to take this on a road trip. Parking sensors and LED lights. And just look at the styling, the way they wrap around here. And the Le Mans style bonnet. It's such a clean look. The combination of colours and finishes. And like the little vents. I'd be happy to drive this at say 17 years old. And that would get me on the EV ladder. Plastic cladding. They remind me of classic three spokes. Yeah, cladding down the side with chrome trim and the roof bars. It's just, well, it's something completely different and that really stands out to me. Yeah, that roof line does remind me of the Vauxhall Ladder. And also it does have, I suppose it's mini characteristics. But apart from that, I mean, just look at the key. It's, it's refreshing, it really is. Power folding door mirrors, blind spot detection, and, oh yeah, keyless entry. And look at the chrome trim. There's so many things that just make me think, go, ooh, that's different. Such clean lines and frameless doors and soft touches. It's remarkable for a car of this size. Padded areas and more funky design lines. Decent door pocket and climbing in, even at six foot three, absolutely no problem. Very sporty. And look at this cockpit layout. It's almost spaceship. However, you will have to face, there's no rotaries or proper buttons, bar the ones on the steering wheel. But to be honest, this is responsive, easy to use. Switch gear, movements, everything is solid. It's well put together. It's just well engineered. Fully electric seat and headroom. I've got masses, quite literally. The other thing is, when you step in, it's ready to go. So you just knock it into drive. And yes, a column shift. Decent infotainment screen. You've got your reversing cameras and your 360. You can see all your parking sensors. The mirrors have tipped up. That's very cool for a car of this size. And we've got Beats by Dre as a sound system. And I do love the way this wraps around here. Premium materials throughout. Look at the chrome and the retro styling. I suppose it reminds me of almost like Fallout style designs. So, 50s, yet modern, solid, nice. Center armrest, storage point, ooh. And this is a chilled place, so it's perfect for cheeses, chutneys, and all types of things. Lovely. Cup holders, and a perfect place for your smartphone. Storage area here, USBs, 12 volts. And I do like the way this wraps round, so you've got something to rest your knee on. You do have a lot of hard plastics when it comes to the side, but the places where you sit and touch, they're finished very well. And yes, you do have a footrest. Two pedal system, because it's a fully electric powertrain. It's a very inviting car. You can just look at the seats, funky. 
Isofix is on the front. They're supportive, fully electric as I mentioned, heated and luxurious, comfortable. And just look at the size of the panoramic and things like the control on the sunroof, the chrome surround on the mirror. Let's take a look at the back. Just look at this design line. And the smart logo there. It does remind me of, I think it's BMW X2, but it worked on that. And it works on this. I do like the black gloss and the fact that this runs around good clearance on muddy trails. Yeah, it'd be pretty good to be honest. Decent ride height. Take a look in the back. Frameless doors, love it. Padded on the rear, excellent to see. Yeah, I like this. Climbing in. Yeah. That's a lot easier than they expected. It's like a TARDIS. It's roomy across the board. The one thing I would have liked to see is a grab handle in the front. Beats once again. You've got little plates like this. It's something special. I do like this black roof. And just look at the panoramic. Light and airy, even with the privacy glass. These are lovely to the touch. Also the styling here. Airbags throughout, isofixes, back seats finished the same way as the front. And I think this is a nice touch. Like the cream seat belts. And comfortable back seat, headroom, yet again. Absolutely no problem at 6'3". Sitting here, it's amazing how big this car is. I'm quite mesmerized to be honest. Pull down armrest, cup holders, and a ski hatch. Storage point here, and some USBs. Yes. Traveling in the rear, it'd be a joy. Also, if you look at this little window here, little guy loading his car. Looks so cool. Looking forward, let's take a look at the back. The one thing I did notice, due to its raised ride height, it makes it really easy to climb into. It's so well engineered. I expected to have to bend a bit, but I just didn't. Excellent. Such a sleek, clean rear. LED lights, straight into a light bar. Smart logo in a minimalist. High level brake light, sporty little spoiler, reversing camera and parking sensors. And hashtag one. So the smart one. Power tailgate. No boot lip. To be honest, it's not a bad size. Quite easily get a couple of weeks shopping in there. It's illuminated and we've got tethering points. And if you lift up the floor, you've got your charging cables and a first aid kit. Very German. 12 volt socket and to drop the seats, simplicity. I pull this. Now that would drop flat and there's very little gap. We don't want to give too much away. But first, a small driving section. Charging, just push, home charge, type two, and rapid. Decent flat, and yes, you've got a light. Perfect. Rapid charging up to 150 kilowatts will get you from 10 to 80% in just 27 minutes. To release the bonnet, pull twice. Ah, uh, struts, and a frunk. Which, well, that looks relatively easy to top up. Can't really get it wrong because everything has a little door. You can see where to top up things. Perfect. Welcome behind the wheel of the Smart One. So yeah, on the back, you've actually got a hashtag and a one. How cool. And just look at the inside. Mind you, with Mercedes, what do you expect? It's about as funky as you can get. So it's fully electric and it is great fun. This is exceptionally cool. Let's see how well it goes around this corner. Ah, there's the vibrant yellow one. So this one's white. It feels well planted. And yes, we do have driving modes. And they're here. What do we have? Eco, Comfort, Sport. And we're in Sport. The regen starts off quite light, but then weighting's up rather quickly. Ooh. That's a, yeah. Ooh, that's mm. very peppy. I don't think we'll have to do a launch with this. A bit in comfort. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It eats up these power holes. In... Yeah, it's definitely a more bounce rather than bump, isn't it? It is, but not to the point like, that yeah. it's ungainly. It feels very well planted. Any 
sleeping in comfort, can't pull away, so that's nice. No, very smooth. Oh, this is fun. Lovely weighty steering as well. With the weight of it, it actually feels a bit old school, which is nice. It's almost got like a hydraulic feel to it. Yeah, it's agile, it's nimble. And some little twisty bits up here that will put it to the test. I can hear a little bit of road noise. It seems rather refined, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's more testament to the state of the roads than it is in here. Oh, it is. Mm. Plus, the weather's not great. This is an enjoyable drive. You could really chuck this down some back roads. The other thing is, we're traveling at 55 miles an hour. It, it really doesn't feel like it. It's, it's the sense of speed. Yeah. It's what I remember from, like our classic Merc. On the autobahn, you're doing what you think is 70, you look down, you're doing 100, 110. Yeah. And it's got that kind of build quality to yeah. it. Yeah, it's a level of refinement that just makes it a really smooth ride. Considering its size. Look at that for a turning circle. A little bit of a rolling launch. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Well, it doesn't scrabble the grip and it gets up to 60 now. Wow. <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah, that's pretty quick. So the wheel spin. No. Nice. No, no, the whole package. The thing is, there's not many smart cars that are this size. It's very sure of itself. Lots of safety, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, collision mitigation, sensors and cameras all over the shop. Clusters nice and straightforward. See the car in the center. You can also see when you're recharging and when you're using power. 145 miles showing there with 71% of the battery. It's a nice little taste of cluster. I like that. Yeah. Very vibrant too, so you can see all the information real easily. They've kind of simplified the EV. This finish is nice. The tactile, it feels lovely. It's just, it's very modern, isn't it? Yeah. Especially the fact that it's, it, you almost feel like you're encompassed in a racing car. Yeah, it does have that kind of feel to it, doesn't mm. it? No, no, the whole package. The brakes, the acceleration, the way it drives. Like this. 